Hello, my name is Thomas Addison. I just want to take a few minutes to tell you about historic Williamston, South Carolina. As a local artist and art teacher, I have had a long time interest in capturing the history, the character, the highlights of the community in drawings, prints, paintings, murals, and sculpture. At the entrance of the Williamston Municipal Center is a plaque which tells a concise history of the town. It all centers around this man, West Allen Williams, for whom the town is named. Williams discovered a calibiot or mineral spring on his property and donated the spring and the area around it to the town in 1842 to create a public park. The park spurred the birth of a 19th century resort town. It was to be one of the first public parks in the nation. By the 1870s, a Methodist minister and educator, Samuel Lander, established the Williamston Female College, and a byproduct of the college was the creation of the second kindergarten to be established in the state. The local arts center created an original drama called Letters Home, which depicted the life and times of the girls at the Williamston Female College in the 1870s, 80s, and 90s. Today, Williamston continues to reflect this tradition in many ways. A vibrant partnership made up of government leaders, business leaders, and school district leaders sponsors many events and initiatives, and most of them take place in and around the historic Mineral Spring Park. The annual Spring Water Festival is held in the park each August and attracts tens of thousands. The lighting of the park at Christmas is a popular community event. Concerts, barbecue cook-offs, farmers market events all occur throughout the year. The local school district is always among the leaders in the state in all categories. Recreational benefits abound with ball fields, picnic shelters, and a recently added paved walking trail by the winding Big Creek. Williamston was a destination location in the 1850s. It is still a great place to visit, live, and play today.